Fade in. Exterior, back garden, Snowdonia, day. Caris, 38, very pregnant, hot, tired, sits in a garden chair. Nearby, her father, Frank, her husband, Jack, and three sons, Dewey, 10, Philip, 8, and Luke, 5, play football. Her mother, Gwen, 72, carries a tray of tea things out, sits in another chair, pours tea, hands a cup to Caris. They face Snowdon, sunny, beautiful. They speak with North Wales accents. Your Whitfa looks good today. It looks good every day, man. Different, but always good. They stare at the view. Gwen looks at her daughter's bulge. Not long to go now, eh? Thank God. The sooner the better. Apart from, you know. Don't think about that, kid. It's all for the best anyway, isn't it? What will you do? I don't know yet. I'd like to try something new this time. Don't leave it too long, though. Of course not. I wouldn't want to ruin it for the whole family. Karis watches the boys playing. I was really lucky having the boys first. We were both lucky. A chance for me to play the doting nan. It was a nice change. I was starting to worry I might not have a girl. You did leave it a bit late. Still, I suppose you can these days. I'm glad I did, though, if only for your sake. Back in the long ago when everyone around here was like us, if you weren't pregnant by 15, there was something wrong with you. It's still a bit like that in real. Back then, children died all the time. If a girl died too soon or too late, poof, that was the end of the family. I know, ma'am. We've both done it, haven't we? Keeping the family safe has always been women's work. Along with all the other work. Yeah, but we've been very lucky. Our family's always made its own luck. Not many folk like us left. But the NHS has helped us all a lot. Only recently, but you'll have an easier time with them. That's the important thing. I've given birth before, you know. I could do it standing on my head. I'd like to see you try. Have you decided on a name yet? Gwyneth, after you. Oh, thank you, Keris. I'm glad. When the men get involved, the old names start to disappear, or worse, become English. Oh, be fair, ma'am. Dad's been loads better than most. A brilliant tide. And it's not over for him yet. I'll wind him round my little finger. You're not going to use his car, are you? He's only just got it. No, cars are far too messy for me. Interior, maternity ward, night. Karis is exhausted, hair stuck to sweaty brow, but happy. Jack's beside her. A nurse gently hands her the baby. You have a beautiful little daughter. I know. Through the glass wall, Frank and the kids are in the hall. Frank answers his phone, turns to Dewey. Then Dewey looks round the door, scared. Dad, can you come out here? What's the matter, Dewey? Tate just had a phone call. Something's happened to Nan. Jack hurries out, whispered urgency. Shock. Left alone with her baby, Karis's tears well, happy and sad, smiling through sobs, gulping. She whispers to her baby. Hello, ma'am. Left it to the last minute again, then, eh? Fade out.